I ran into Darian. Darian, I haven't, haven't seen you since December 14th, 2021. That's over two years ago. Um, you've been locked up. How have you been in those two years that I haven't seen you? Uh, last year, I had a job. I, I got out of uh, uh, sober living, helped out my family, um, raised up a lot of money, but uh, went straight back into drugs. Uh, escorts and I, I, I just messed up this time and I racked up a whole bunch of charges but right now I'm straight out of, straight out of jail sober uh, glad to be sober I feel strong right now um, I know the last time I was like 130 pounds skinny skinny um, but right now I'm doing good you're feeling good sober uh, yes yes so I, I got a clear head um, I know what to do this time. I, I don't want to mess up. It's crazy in jail. I don't want to get it. Uh, my, my, well, the uh, the chiefs in jail said, if, if I go back to jail, I'm gonna get a, a straight hot one, you know? The chiefs, like native folks that are in there? Yeah, or what? the, the uh, Chicanos and the chiefs. So if they see me again, they're gonna straight whip my ass. Um, so you were clean, you were sober, you were working with your family, saving up money. What, what triggered you to go back? Mostly, mostly my cravings, uh, like cravings in, uh, sexual matters, cravings in like, uh, 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 getting out there and just feeling that, feel, feeling that high of something more greater than myself. When when you get when you uh, when you become sober in the past, like, do you ever go through programs like uh, meetings and uh, a sponsor? And um, uh, there's also a Vivitrol shot once a month that helps with the cravings. Well, uh, this time I was in Patina Wellness Center. Uh, they do. Uh, uh, sweat Lodge, uh, AA, CNA, MA, uh, the whole nine yards, but it's mostly traditional uh, uh, teachings uh, uh, through their program. And they, uh, this time I had a sponsor, and, but this time I didn't complete um, uh, past step, step eight, which was, um, making amends with uh, the people that I hurt or the people that um, that helped me through my addiction. And that was really hard and I just messed up and I abscounded through uh, my the law and myself and I just went on the run. I have your mom's phone number on my contact list here on my phone. Do you want to call her? Use my phone to call her so she can pick you up. Or do you want to talk to her after we're done here? Uh, no. No? No. Okay. You want to surprise her one of these days? Just show up and look, mom, I'm good. Yes, yes, uh, definitely. Uh, I know last time she said that th this is the last time I'm going to help you. But this time I want to do it on my own and surprise her. Uh, show up and say, hey, mom. I, I know we haven't uh, talked or like looked eye to eye, but uh, I'm doing good. I got a job. I, I got a sober living. I got a rehab, and I want to do it on my own this time. How long do you think that'll take? About uh, uh, nine months. Uh, probably to get a job, to get all my credentials back. Um, last time it took me nine months and then after that it was just like a straight road month after month saving money and um, just keeping my head down what was the the length of time that you were locked up uh, a year this time a year you were locked up for a year yeah is that was that the longest you've ever done uh, yeah If you keep going back, they're gonna keep giving you longer time, right? Yes. Year and a half, two years, three years, five, oh, right? Oh yeah. Well, next time they said I'm gonna get three years. 
So it, it has to work this time for you, right? Because yes. that's... This is my last chance with my family and the law and probably with myself because one of these days I might just overdose and that's that, you know? You're too young for that, don't you think? Yes, uh, right now I'm 26. I've been in and out of uh, like homelessness, uh, being on my own since I was 16. So like about eight, like 10 years, I've been out here, so. But through that time, I had a place, I had friends, now I have nothing. Are you, are you sick of this yet or not yet? Uh, I'm like 80% sick of this. Some days I get excited about this life, but most of the time it's just, it's just bull because most of the days I have nothing in the morning, at night, and it takes a, a long time to have someone look at me and feel sorry for me just because I'm out here, but no one shouldn't do that because I'm a man and I should be strong for myself and have have something for myself, you know, to support me and to get, get by day to day. Can you uh, make us understand why, what, what would be exciting about being out here? Uh, just the individual uh, contact between uh, the opposite sex and probably friends that would help me and, uh, either through my addiction or just uh, just casual day to day talk. So you kind of like the social networking, the, 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 the friendships oh, yeah. out here? Uh, the, the, the connections, uh, getting known, uh, getting around, um, knowing my uh, surroundings, where to pick up, or just, just, just friendships, you know? If you, when you're sober and living at home and working, are you less sociable? Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, to myself, um, mostly, m mostly just working, then movies, and just to myself. I don't really call nobody. Um, I don't really stay in contact with anybody. Probably call my mom here and there, and I try reaching out to my family but most of the time I feel embarrassed and uh, because of my past and they know that I'm a drug addict and in and out of jail, uh, that I'm like a hothead, that I'm just uh, sitting around, you know, not, not really taking control of my life. If you're... Uh your mom, your siblings see this, what, what message, a direct message do you have for them? Um, hopefully this time I could um, stay sober for more than two years, complete probation, um, save up money so I could support my uh, siblings because uh, little kids get taught by the older ones you know and it it gets passed on and passed on and i don't want that to happen because uh if that happens i might just 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 throw my life away if you pass away out here where do you want to be buried um near my brother You have a brother that passed away? Yeah, um, like about 20 years ago, he died from SIDS. He was four months old. And he's buried uh, right here, um, right here on uh, Van Buren. So I, I, I want to be placed right next to him. 
And I, I have to ask you that because uh, I've interviewed countless people and they pass away. They're gone because of this lifestyle, these pills. So that could very well happen to you. So I hate to ask it, but it's a, po a great possibility the, the longer you're out here. You're sober right now, but you know I don't, I don't want you to stay out here. I want you to keep fighting for, for your sobriety, for your health, for a future. You know, you're 20, what, 25, 26? 26. 26 years old, and we're talking about where you want to be buried. You know, because I've, I've already helped bury younger people than, than you because of this lifestyle. Okay? So, uh, it was really nice seeing you, Darian. It was really nice seeing you. I, I recognized really nice you. you. I recognized you right away. Oh, yeah. I, I, I approached you, and you, it took you a second, right? Like, he looks oh, familiar, yeah. right? It yeah, took you, yeah. He looks familiar. And yeah. I love all the all the positive talk and the support that you give me each time you know it, it's it, it's just really helpful you know absolutely i'm here to help so um uh, i noticed you mentioned that you don't have any shoes right yeah uh i i kind of uh jumped a fence over here and got some uh got some oranges because i was hungry you know okay yeah so uh, i'm gonna I'm gonna hand you some donated shoes. Those, are, those that's your size, right? 10, yep, 11, 11, 11, right, 11. Yeah. So that's your size. Yep. Those are donated from a, well, a subscriber thank of mine. Art. Her name is Pearly. Thank you, Art. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Pearly. Absolutely. So thanks, you need those shoes, and um, please get better. Please get well. Uh, you deserve the world. You see, you're a really good kid with the big heart. You're just lost and confused. Continue to fight for your life, okay? Okay. So stay safe. God bless. I'll go get you some food, and we'll talk soon, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Art.